MakeHairBowsNow.com presents I Love You. This is an adorable weaved ribbon hair bow. You could also use it as a jewelry pin. You can make it larger or a little smaller. Different colors work well. Embellishments really make it from ribbon to yarn, whatever you would like to do. But make sure you also go to the website to receive three free hair bow tutorials and manuals. They're not seen here on YouTube, and they're really, really cute. You're going to want them as well and have access to the blog with more tutorials. We're going to be making this one right here with the pink satin ribbon. Um, the dimensions, again, are, are below. After you sign up for the three free hair bow tutorials, you can go to the blog and get dimensions, but your short piece is going to be in the center and the two long on the side. Hot seal or heat seal your ends so they don't fray from you. Pin it here and get started. We're going to start with the left side that goes over the center one and then the next, far side will just loop over and through and I like keeping the shiny satin side up so it's nice and neat and I don't pull it too tight because I really want that weave to show. Now it's the other side's turn. Over the center up through the hole and pull it through. Notice that the center ribbon never moves. It stays right where it's at. That's why it's shorter than the other two. So it's the left side turns over the top and then your other side goes all the way through over through the hole and pull it through. I used to do this when I made macrame years ago. It was a lot of fun there too. So just go back and forth, back and forth, weave it back and forth until you finish your entire length of your ribbon. You can adjust it and take out more or add more to it to fit your dimension. Take the pattern I've provided. This is stiff felt that you can buy right next to the little craft square felts and we're just going to trim it about 3 8 inch wide just enough to give it a backing to, so that we have something to hot glue our weaving on top of. And it's stiff and it's sturdy and looks great. So there's two different sizes if you want it a little bit larger. We're going to start with a, you can see how it, you can pull the weaves up or slide it down on that center ribbon but we're going to pull it out because we want the weaves to show. So I kind of stretch it out a little bit so it's not so tight. So when you tie your knots don't tie them super tight. Okay so we're going to start right here at the bottom after you've heat sealed that little about half an inch there where you hot glued those together. Wrap it around, kind of make sure it's all going to fit to see if you need to add more knots or take a few knots off too as well. And that looks like I'm going to have enough. I just need to take and pull it out a little bit. I like using low temperature hot glue because I always burn myself with the high temperature. So just lay it on there so it covers it and will cover the entire thing. That's why you don't want that stiff felt form to be any more than about 3 8 inches. So just kind of squiggle your hot glue on and just lay it on there. Make sure you get that round, round part that goes all the way up. When you get down to the center point here you want to go clear all the way down so it looks like a real heart. So tuck it in there and sneak it in there and just push it down to make it look like it's a real nice point to make the heart shape there. You're going to work your way all the way around clear to the bottom. Just on the, hot, the low temperature it seals really quickly so I don't have to worry about pressing it too long. When you get to the bottom either add some knots or take some knots off till, so it fits so it'll lay right over top of that flat part you've already hot glued down to the point. I'm going to trim my three ends to about half an inch is all and I'm going to want to heat seal those as well so they won't fray on me. Just a lighter just run it through really quickly is all you need to do and then we're just going to hot glue those behind just so that they look nice and neat and it's a nice way to finish it and it won't come undone at all. So just one on, on top of the other just rotate which goes across each other and then we're going to hot glue it flat right down to the corner right on top of that other flat part right where we started from that flat part and then it'll look like it's weaved all the way around you can see it. Push it to seal and you're done. We need to attach either a hair clip to the back or a jewelry pin. This is one way to do it with an alligator clip. A little small felt heart. It just hot glue it in three points leaving spot in between and there you go. Isn't that cute? That's going to look adorable in the hair. Or make it a jewelry pin if you'd rather. Add your embellishments. They can be beads. They can be ribbon. Here I attach these with E6000 adhesive on a toothpick. Or just add a double bow like this with thin ribbon if you would like. And this other one here, the purple one, has yarn, dangly yarn, which is a little jewel on it. So this is the fun part, doing the embellishments. It's your choice of, little, of you could use an embellishment or not. And you're going to want to make sure you get the other three adorable tutorials and manuals free. I'll email them right to you. Go to MakeHairBowsNow.com, sign up, and I'll email them right over to you real quickly. You're going to receive a fabric one. You're going 
going to receive a ribbon one and a tooler netting one. They're really cute. They'll be great for all ages. You're going to want to get hold of those because they're not here on YouTube at all. Here's the embellishment with the thin ribbon to the side or you could put it at the top or the beads are really cute too as well. Make sure you give me a like below if you appreciate this video and I'll make sure and make some more for you. Subscribe to my channel and then you'll get noticed when the new tutorials come out. Make sure you claim your three free hair bow tutorials at MakeHairBowsNow.com. They're cute. You're going to want them. And uh, make sure you email me a picture of your bows when they're done. I'd love to post them on the blog because this is a cute one that you're going to want to year, year, wear year-round. Thanks so much.